Belveth? Seraphine Nar. That that does seem pretty fucking good against these guys. Draven first pick? What face? Does he play that shit? He must. Nobody first picks Draven on accident. With only MF ban? Is that real? Okay, so we get Malkai Victor. Did they giga buff Malkai? Yeah, they, they like kind of give him a mini rework thing. I don't know if you'd call it a mid scope update or how they want to characterize it, but they buffed his youngling. Actually, they, they buffed him just in general. They took a lot of power away from his saplings to uh, give his other stuff some power. Which is good because his saplings were kind of aged, but the thing is you still get value from him just for the vision. So it's like still a useful ability, but you just actually have strong other abilities as well. EG's just opting for the scaling. Alright, so I like the Trundle ban is good. Sijuani ban seems fine. I mean, pretty good. Pretty good. I'm surprised Sijuani jungle is getting played as much as it is. I think Gragas is pretty good. I think part of it, though, is like... When you consider picks for competitive, you have to think, like... How they all affect one another, like... Even when you're just comparing champions, it's not like it's only you think about your own role. There's also like, you know, what other champs are in the game in general can affect it. Um, but I think for the case of Gragas, it's probably more so that like a lot of people are playing Maokai, Sejuani, and then AP mid. So it's like if you also go in AP top, you're kind of cucking yourself in draft. Wait, they actually locked Rumble? What? The fuck? Well, as you see, since your late invade could come through, this is something Matt Limes has done quite a bit, but if they start to sweep as well, as they come through, these fucking bastards. The way, and just split the map in a position where you don't get to play for the Raven lane. Huh? Oh, we going for a full on late invade. Wait. What? Wait, what? What was that? What happened? I was moving shit around. They went for the late invade and then just didn't do it. Oh. Did Vi... Vi wasn't there, right? No, Vi was wasn't there. Right side? They okay. just got scared. Oh. Oh. That's not the right game. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, wait. They're actually getting toasted. They're getting fucking toasted and spit roasted. Oh shit, Maokai? Yes, sir. Dude, this is why blue side is so good for bot lane. Like, Maokai can just walk up and look for an egg. It's just so easy. Oh. There are more ways to get ganked bottom as blue side. Uh, yeah. Technically, because they can potentially just jump over the wall instead of entering in either bush. Wait, Double F said he likes blue side better. Oh, Jojo! Oh, wow. Uh, He's got big balls, dude. That was one of those, like, a flash auto would kill him, but Jojo's like, you're not going to do it, pussy. Would have had to be an enhanced auto, though, right? Yeah. I don't think he had any of those left. It, it was fucking close, though, Jesus. I actually rushed a bloody orb, Victor. And against Silas, does he even heal? Is it good? I don't know. Oh, I have some exciting news, Sneaky. What's up? Yesterday, oh, wait, do you remember Feek? Yeah. I was doing with Feek in League. <laughs> on my super decayed account in Smurf Q, and we fucking got to Diamond. Woo! So hype. I was playing some Kiana as well. And then three took a little bit. But too. I don't think I won any Kiana games. I swear to God, this champion is so hard to actually win games on. 
Like, I don't know what it is about her. Wait, which one? When, Kiana. Oh, wait, yeah. Like, having a successful late game team fight is actually so hard. Mm hmm. I mean, when she's fed as fuck, it's. Oh. Uh oh. Ah, he's so fucking dead. That was dead. quite a few flashes on him, actually. Yeah. Should have played around it. Holy shit. Actually, Cowrie's fucking them, but why is he here? I guess they shifted up for Harold. I guess they shifted up for Harold. I guess they shit themselves for Harold? Draven 220 stacks. Oh. Kill this man. Take him out. Oh, wait. He oh. didn't dodge the Tom Kush W. Uh, this. Oh. Unforgiven yeah, he... fucking griefing oh, his brains my... out. What? God. Wait, it's a double kill. Uh, Yo, let's go. Uh, okay, this, Europe. This is mad, by the way. Yep. Oh, we just shit on a mid lane. Let's fuck it. Oh, God, we're out there. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm a 220 stack Draven. A Tom Kench is going to W me. I think I'll just fucking tank it. <laughs> oh, look at that. I'm in his mouth. Huh. How'd they get in there? Uh, it's so silly. It's warm in here. Oh, God. Where'd my stacks go? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, well. That's a good point. pretty true. Whoa, is that Wait, plug? Who is that that I showing up? Halfway into the game, huh? Is that a mystery man? Well, I was just waiting for you guys, but I, I, I guess I'll start the stream up. Here's in the secret Discord call that you invite this to, but we just forgot to enter. Have a late night with uh, Bjergsen for National Boyfriend Day? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, That's indeed. That's fucking hot. <laughs> oh, shit. Yes. You're hungover, aren't you? I'm a little bit. I'm not only hungover, but my... <clears throat> butt's a little sore. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Well, I'm glad Bjergsen gave it to you good. You really need a good Dickens every now and then. Thank you. Oh. Can Elioya stop cheesing everyone with his targeted ult? Oh. Whoa. Impactor. Oh, Q Master. Whoa. Niski flash from that? Huh? Pussy. Actually, though. Oh. Pussy. Oh. Whoa! Oh. Nice shot, dude. You know Draven can't even build an Eclipse if he wants to because he already got the Noon Quiver. Uh, uh, well, you can set on the Noon Quiver or sell it. Dumbass. Yeah, but you can't build Eclipse if you have a Noon Quiver. Dumbass. <laughs> Wait, actually, hmm. that's wrong. Fuck you. Yeah. That's wrong. Fake news. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It is actually right. It does not to block you from buying the Z. Oh, but it does. <laughs> it does not. It you does. You're making it up. I bet you've never even tried. No, I bet you it's a mythic component and you cannot do the other mythic components. You want to get blocked if you actually can Lead to mythic? No, actually, you will get blocked as soon as you buy it. <laughs> that is not true. Fifteen and counting. Can you shut up already, dude? You're actually annoying me. And wrong. <sighs> so fucking annoying. Oh shit, guys. Shit, my ass. Double if takes two fucking more Advils. <laughs> Downs a glass of water. He goes, oh, I forgot what I was getting into. 
last night. <laughs> Fuck me. Yes. Uh, Yo, what's up? You get some new material out here. <clears throat> new material uh, for what? New content. Oh, uh, this Mad EG game isn't enough. Oh, okay. Let, let me try one. <laughs> He's feeling I eat. That's <laughs> That's a good one. Wait, That's who's going I? Who, hold up. Wait, who's going I? You though. This is gonna wait. Hold on, hold on. Wait, I, I, hold on. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna too. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Um. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it, it'll come to me in a sec. Like. Butthole. <laughs> that was good. Jesus. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Sneaky every, every, every five minutes is Jesus or no. Oh. Or whoa, yes. Who, who blind picked AD carry? Like, there's Draven. no, he blind picked Draven, right? Dra Draven won too. Fun, ironically. You're, 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 you're serious. We, we ain't fuck. capping. Yep. Dude, that is so crazy. It was Silas, Draven won too. Then Meowkai Victor, then Leona. Cause like, Draven's oh. not that good right now. Does he um, die? Does he die? <laughs> yep. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, is is Unforgiven actually a Draven player? No, he I think Draven he is. Before? Mm. I, I mean, he must I, I don't be. Like, know, no one just I don't know very much about it. him, but I've seen him play it before. I don't. Yeah. Like the first time he did it. I'm pretty sure MF was the only AD carry band when he did that too. He used to be an OTP Draven. That's sick. Mm. I mean, regardless, like, it doesn't... Yeah, OTP Draven's like a dime a dozen, you know? Like, Jackalove started off as a Draven one trick. Um, it's just the fact that champ, Champ's not that good. Tyler won. Yes. Like, like, Varus is really good against Draven. Would love to play that. I, was, I went to the gym this morning for the first time in a while. Do, do you guys know is is 475 a lot for bench? It is. Uh oh, that's what I was doing. Oh, dude! Wow. Yeah, there's. That's totally believable. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Inspired's getting pwned. Oh, he's too tanky. He's got after Is Maokai though? Wait. Harry? <laughs> two down. Wait, what? Uh, no. Oopsies. Oh, oh Dude, what no. the fuck is going on? Dude, gotta kill. No. Oh god. Guys, did you watch what Kauri did there? So, the Vulcan came in and saved Inspired for a sec. I don't really know if they would have both lived there, but then Kauri just like walked up to Vi while she had ult up and died. It was just like... What the hell did you think was gonna happen there? That, that was like a saving private Inspired moment. Like, you need to get the fuck out. Oh no, he's just getting farmed here. Oh, Wait, just getting impact. took Tommel? Does that do anything? Can even ult the enemy? Get to auto them three times or what? What the fuck? I've never seen a Silas take Tom ult. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Alright, I'm gonna watch Kauri this fight. Silas I mean, they used a lot ult? on Maokai. I guess, I mean, like, from his I don't, know, I don't feel like what he did was that troll looking. Like, it's by still having ult, up. I guess, is what, what made it fucked. Yeah, I mean, like, from his perspective, his team is fighting that, but, like, Victor's not there. I think maybe, like, his play is fine to just die if uh, it's 5 5, but, yep. Zero damage, JoJo. Omega. No. I mean, he was just bot with no TP, so. He has That's TP, just... I see it right there. Uh huh. Game up. Wonderful. But it's true. I just had to like read the map there. Um, <clears throat> a little better. Yeah, he just needs to not fight at all. But it, it, I mean, if he doesn't walk up, do, does Inspired and Vulcan both not just insta die there? Maybe the mistake in the first part is like Vulcan even trying to go in and save Inspired. Because I feel like if they, if they don't kill Kauri there, they definitely just kill Tom and Maokai, right? Yeah. 
Another dragon. Is Malka? Wait. Actually, yeah. This kid isn't Malka all this time. Front to back team fight available. Mag going for the long wrap around. El Yoya going to go over the res buff wall. No impact there, but actually maybe they're going to peel off. They know actually that they're violating two from Mag. Oh. Oh. Wait, they're getting this fucked. Looks good. This looks good. Caught with their panties down. Holy. Punish these I, I think he just comp is so much better in the team fight. Such a heads up play, god damn. Dude, Draven got a collect turd. Yeah, I mean, everything that Draven does, it, it never feels great. Uh, the fucking, like, Eclipse, Essence, Lord Dom, IE build, that one usually seems to cock the meats. That, that one's like giga damage, but it he just is slightly lacking like defenses, I guess. We're gonna watch this again. So Niski just gets. Oh my god, Niski just gets one shot. Like, what the fuck? I think it's really hard for Mad to win this game. <laughs> Their comp scales really poorly. They did pick Rumble in the year 2022. There is a Heimerdinger player who m makes Death Cap Rush uh, look pretty viable. Wait, is he the guy who goes fucking Rocket Belt Death Cap? Yes, he rushes Dude. Death Cap first, and then he Wait. goes Rocket Belt second. It makes That's no like sense. When I see Diana do that, I'm like, what the fuck is that? Uh, does he play at support? No, he plays at top in my games. Huh. Do you remember his name? His name? Pi Pi I think his name is iPi. I definitely got fucked by a Heimerdinger somewhat recently who was doing that. Mark Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. There was this Heimer who, like, he was at. I don't know. Did they buff Heimer's W or something? Like, he was straight just one shotting anyone at any time with his fucking empowered W. Hmm. It was it was really I mean, fucking weird. That thing fucks if it actually all hits. Uh oh. He was just like perma sitting Ooh. in bushes. I played against him a few times. It was oh actually kind of cool. Wait, they're getting fucked here. Oh god. No, Vulcan eats him. I think they're. Mm, not... Oh my god. This looks god. cursed as shit. Jojo is going down. Oh, all right. Oh. Impact two. two. It's fucking close. At it's least. Really close. Thank God. It looked like they were just gonna all die. EG. Yeah. Impact, I guess, wasn't touched at all. What, what the fuck happened to Kauri? I mean, that, that whole fight was just awkwardly positioned. So I, I think I think EG has this bad habit of, like, chasing when the situation's good for them, and it just ends up turning, like, a really good situation into a weird one. They insta-killed Kaiser and then chased, and then Rumble had a sick ulti. Yeah. I think the sick rumble to force Volk into in on ult to eat what Jojo and then Kauri's left alone. Like yeah, this is what's fucked them right here. So Vulcan eats Oof. Jojo, but then Kauri's just alone. Actually. Close. Yeah. No, I mean they got baited into that that was actually a fucking game winning rumble right there. Yeah. I mean, Evans in original game position actually normally, ended up but... pretty good because they like over chased into him and then Got a good R and then the Rumble R on top of it. Raven did play that whole thing like a huge Chad. Like, even the very beginning where he's like autoing while his teammates just basically getting caught. It... He flashed in and fucking chopped Kauri's head off. Yeah. Draven played the whole situation so well. I don't know. There is saplings around to spot him. But oh, oh big no flank coming in. Wait, there is, there is. Both this does not, not look amazing. Actually, this Victor looks pretty good for EG. Him up. Matt overcommitted and EG Ooh, peeled well. Let's go. Kill Niski. Kill Niski. Yeah. This is, uh, Holy fuck. Doomed one for Matt. I can't believe Jojo nice. lost that. Yeah, I mean, I, I honestly think his itemization is good. The Oblivion Orb oh, is oh, a little oh. questionable. What happens here? What happens here? <gasps> okay. Holy fuck. Unforgiven. Oh, he gets oh, ready going. That's what happens. Remember the Varus Red Steel where you just sit in the pit and fucking. <laughs> 
just try to steal it level one. So stupid. When that shit worked, it was just like GG. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, this one's steal. Yeah. Smite. I was playing a game yesterday where my support Ash fucking warded their blue and then just stole it with a volley, and their jungler just and, uh, get themselves on the stole point. <laughs> was depressed all game. <laughs> just actually got <laughs> fucked off that. That's pretty funny. Ooh, mad on soul point though off that. I think it's fine. If I'm EG, I don't care too much. Yeah, yeah. I, I would even say this is a game where you, you're outscaling them so hard if they have soul, it's not game losing. It's I think because it's like, ocean. I think if other souls could be game. Like Hexhecker Mountain, I would be sweating a bit. I don't know. I feel like even Mountain, you just... You just have such a solid 5-5 five, five comp. Mm -hmm. It's really up to them. He's outplay you. Yeah, that's true. Mad does have to like completely dive into a fucking Melkai, Tom Victor, Tom Kush, Varus. Like your team is built for the other team to run into you when you just kill them. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I don't know if this kills him. Nope, it doesn't. He's smacking that Vi ass. I oh. do like the idea of going on Aatrox in this kind of comp, though. Oh my god. Wait a sec. What the hell? He can just he can just do that? Oh shit. How does he juggling like 30 axes at once? <laughs> he is really good at Draven. Like, yeah. He, his just mechanical skill on this champ is fucking crazy, but... There's only so much you can do. How many axes can you have out at once as Draven? If like you have the two axes and then you like you keep... It's in your more while they're in speed, air. but you can do like four. Jeebus. That one's pretty tough. And it it also tech gets on Draven. when you like need to change your movement direction because then you like flick an axe in the spot that you're not yeah. trying to head. Like, what's the specifics on Draven's axes? Like, I played him a little bit, but not enough to like truly. Is it like the direction you're moving like as the axe hits He's and starts coming back to you it's like it's like well, i mean sneaky you played it more than me but like it's the direction that you move directly after throwing the auto yeah perfect the wall it, it, is is it is right after air. throwing or i thought it was as you hit like as the auto hit i mean they kind of sync up yeah but like i mean you could move a little bit right and then just like stop right as the axe is about to hit them. Yeah, it's probably where you're heading where it hits. Although, I'm not 100% sure. That, that, that's what makes more sense for them to code it that way. I, I don't like his gold passive, but like that axe throwing thing, I think is an example of like a unique mechanic in the game that's, you know, not unfair, but also takes like a pretty high level of mastery to min max. Yeah. It's hard for a lot of champs to have those kind of mechanics. Like, if every champ had like some sort of Draven like mechanic, it'd be kind of <laughs> crazy, but I Wait. appreciate the ones that do. I've never seen that. He had two stacks of anathemas on him. <laughs> really? Yeah, it said two. <laughs> wow, that's fucked. Anathemas is a legit busted item. Mm -hmm. Word on the street. Oh, it 100% is. I am surprised it hasn't been changed yet. Wait, yeah, what the fuck? Why is JoJo going Lich Bane last? Move That's speed. fucking troll. Yeah, that is no troll. Death cap, fuck, no actually. void, and he'll still win the game. Will he? Yeah, that's, that's not right. Yes, yes, he will win this game. He is, he is a full item ahead I mean, of everyone else in this game. It's like a potential to throw, though. I mean, like, I think it gives him a lose condition because yeah, exactly. if Matt, I think if Matt gets Ocean Soul, then like EG may not actually have enough damage to get through everyone with a with a Varus and a Tank Victor. Mm. I think like they have Aatrox and stuff, so it's not completely doomed. But I do think JoJo's build is questionable. There's actually a lot of games that are like, ah, oh, it doesn't even matter what he builds, and it's just like, whoop, start throwing, like, and then it suddenly starts mattering, and it's like, oh fuck me. Well, I mean, like, all he has so far is a Sheen, right? So... 
Yeah, it could be anything. It could be an essence reaver. No, 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 no. I, I just mean this. This for this specific fight, it didn't matter if he had a rod or a sheen. I mean, yeah, a I mean, sheen is he... legit useless. I mean, like he maybe probably didn't have gold for it, but. Yeah, I mean, maybe for after this fight, if he finishes his item and the enemy team gets stolen, it'll matter. All right, I mean, just consider it this way. Would you rather have a sheen or a void staff? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good comparison. That's not even playing for this drag. Um, okay. What are the I'm trying to understand, stats I'm trying to understand. on Evan Shroud? It's HP. Is it armor and MR? Armor MR. Yeah, yeah, built out of okay. Aegis too. Does it? Or it, it builds out like the same shit as all the support items do. Null magic mantle cloth armor. I don't know if it is specifically the Aegis. Mm. I rarely ever build that item. Yeah. I don't even buy it on Blitz because I feel like Locket's usually pretty OP. Oh. It's crazy. They can just start Baron. Like, and then, yeah, they can just like start Baron and that happens. Ridiculous. Wait. Isky? Oh. Fuck, Pisky? Actually, big as fuck Rumble ult. Wait, no, Pisky's dead. Dude, Nisky played that so fucking weird, bro. He was out, and then he turned back into him. Hold up. Trying to, like, fight. They might just be able to burn this down with Draven they do. Deeps. They do. Wait, oh! Maokai got it? How did Maokai get it? Oh, my God. What? Let's did go. Get it with oh, it didn't look like he was in range. Did he get it in Sapling, actually? I mean, he's in the pit. No, I mean, he must have just flash smited, like, totally max range. I didn't think he could even get that. Jesus. Well, uh... Calvary, okay. what was that flash? That looks like game over. Yeah, okay. They better end. If Calvary gets punished for flashing on a 1 HP Leona to KS it, I am no, going to freak out. He only does it because the game's over. He knows it. Okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, that stat's fucking stupid. <laughs> Which one? Fucking first win against European teams for an A. Like, I, I think it's in best of fives. I don't even know. No, no, no. It's this year. This is year? Because EG was our rep at MSI and they went 0 4 against EU. Hmm. Oh, it's for EG oh, it's specifically. EG's, it's EG's first win in Seven. versus EU, not the, okay. Oh, no, we're no. in draft, by the way. Yo, Dude, I, okay, good morning. Here, here, here's my two cents about Matt. Their their players are not bad. Niski is pretty obvious weak link for the team, and every Whoa. time I watch him play Silas, he's not very good at it. Um, I think maybe we we put Niski on Azir or. Victor, or like one of those kind of champs, uh, Ari, something that is. He's not known for his scaling champs, isn't he? Isn't he known for like being playmaker? I feel like Niski yeah. just gets a playoff debuff. Like he does I, I, well I, I in the regular season. He... Because every every game so far, he's not looked good on this pick. I don't know if Niski's the weak link, but. It just feels like their whole team like, doesn't play together very well. Like, they'll yeah. just randomly do some shit that, like, fucks up the game. Where it wasn't like, you know, they were working together as a team and something went wrong. It's just kind of like they're on different pages, different ideas, and goes to shit. Yeah, I don't know. People are saying he's LEC MVP. Like, that's actually some sort of justification for his play. So is Summit, but he just is completely choked his balls off in playoffs. Yeah, it's not like, like a shield that makes him immune, but... I'm sure he's really skilled at the game. It's just, he's played seven games so far, and... Wait. No, he's played more than that. Because he played a, a, a... BO5 to make it here. Yeah. Against Saigon Buffalo. The game's in Europe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> XD. Well, those BO5s you don't want to look at. Draven again. Just just one, two, three, Draven. Who, who the fuck is doing these drafts for, for Matt? I I don't even know what's going on. Like, you see Sejuani set, and that's that's what you think? Like, 
<laughs> Looks like a Draven angle. How yeah, that, that is sense? a little weird. I mean, I think it's also weird that like, so I can actually get behind a team early picking Draven if like they they are a Draven team, meaning like they literally just play to bot as hard as humanly possible. Like, yeah, basically like any team double has ever been on. If they play like that, I think you can early pick Draven. But they early picked Draven, and then he literally died the most fucking troll way ever and lost a billion stacks. Well, I mean, that's part of why Mad's not even necessarily a good team. Like, they'll do right things, and then they'll just fucking do giga wrong things. Yeah. Oops, what is, I died. What is Mad's strength? I, I, I don't understand. I, I think for EG, it, it's str the strength is mid jungle. But what is mad strength? I, I think they just understand. have like individual pop offs, like El Yoya or Armit will just make some like giga play, but it's not like they're always making giga plays. I've seen El Yoya go like crazy mode on Velveth. I've seen him play really well. Um, I've seen him do 3.5k damage to Hecarim. Ooh. It's just like not reliable for jungle to be the carry right now. Unless he's on Belveth. Yes. Yeah, so they they haven't being... picked it either game so far this series. Hey, it looks pretty good. I mean, I think part of it's the fact that it's been banned, but also like. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's only part of it. Yeah. What is this comp they drafted again? I, I just don't understand this. Yeah, it feels like they're having an identity crisis or something. It's four melees and Draven. I would not be surprised if, like, they just are not cohesive at all. Like, their discussions around the game, they're probably, like, not in agreement about a lot of stuff. So it just kind of feels fragmented. They're locked into playing a melee support, kind of, because they early picked Draven. Like, usually people would be fine to play something like Draven Renata. And I think in this game, Draven Renata would be very, very good. But they went with Ally against Sivir. No Renata. Why is that? I don't know. I think I think it's really good. And I think it's especially good when the enemy team is all melee. And they are. It's it's Sejuani fucking set mid jungle. So you're going to get a lot of value out of your ult and Q. That's fine. Okay, so they go Ally against Sivir. They blind pick Orn because they don't know what to blind, which sets uh, impact up to play GP. I think GP shits on all non non escape eighty carries, including Draven. I, I, yeah, I really actually think EG has a bit of a w weird comp this time. Like they're running GP and Yumi, so like they have two lanes that are potentially getting shoved in. I guess it's GP against Orange, yeah, but, so he'll probably be fine. But I think the glue here is is just you swapping the the in, the bruiser top row with mid like so gp takes the same position in the game as like a victor or a, a nazir would he's the scaling carry and then they're playing off mid jungle early so i, I think the comp all, overall is not too bad yeah, it's it's playable i don't love it though like, i kind of like mad's comp better actually oh my god that's a flash <laughs> It felt like Jojo could do the like diagonal E to, to catch him earlier, but I don't think he's super practiced doing that. Wait, did Yumi That's heal for mobility? Think. Yeah, he did. I was uh, Spellbook Sedge. I was looking at that. I feel like Inspired is like the only jungler who plays with that rune. Wasn't, wasn't Malrang doing it too? I'm not sure. With... I'm trying to remember what, what it Balrang did first strike Jarvan, and then Inspired said, I, I saw him play that, and I thought, first strike sucks, but Inspiration Tree is good. So I went Spellbook Jarvan. Ooh, yeah. That was good. That's, 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 that's true. Uh-oh. Can he make the big flash? Yup. Oh, oh, what wait. the fuck, El Yoya? Wow, he actually gets a kill. Wow, is, he gets him. Okay. Wow. That is a fucking crazy I kill angle. didn't think he would get that. All right. I didn't realize he still had Pillar. Hold, holding Pillar that whole time, yeah. I mean, that's on, honestly so cheesy by El Yoya. Disgusting, man. It, it's kind of... I feel like it's almost sad that you have to resort to cheese to win. Holy shit. 
Dude, and both junglers are actually doing like some really weird routes. Yeah. Like last game inspired was fucking low, like lower level than support at like four minutes. He did a no leash, full blue side clear into bottom gank. It's just like the fact that both these junglers are playing this way means like neither one gets punished too hard. But like if one of them's just hard farming. No, dude, look at bot lane. This is fucked up. Oh god. They're look actually gonna lane. they're gonna let the Draven Alistair lane get dope by set. Okay, impact's fine. Oh, set is top. Oh, set TP'd? Holy shit. Right before he TP'd top, he was halfway to bot lane. <laughs> oh, really? So, yeah, so I was like, D he is fucked here, right? They're about to get 4v2 dove, but he ended up having to make a defensive TP, which totally bailed out Mad's bot lane. This is so weird to fucking, like, just why Draven? I think playing this way makes total sense if you don't have a Draven. Yeah, it almost feels like they should be the ones playing Super Yumi and just, just getting slightly behind <laughs> Brilliant scaling. Uh, I would actually love Mad's comp if they had Super Yumi. Just perfect. Makes perfect sense. Yeah, uh, really Silas shit on set or what? Oh. Niski, no! Oh! Slapped Dude. him with the E. Did, did you guys see Niski and Vulcan did a jersey swap? Really? Yeah. Saw it on Twitter earlier. Oh. Are they currently swapped jerseys right now? It feels like Niski might be wearing that EG jersey from what I've seen so far. Sheesh. He think he part of the team. Loon. It just, for, from draft, it looks like Mad has such a fucking clear game plan on how to win, right? Like, you literally camp this shit out of bot all game. Yeah, no, it's so funny. It, they don't give a fuck about champs. Like, it's not, it's not, they don't care about, oh, I'm ganking Orange Lane and I'm leaving Draven weak side. It's like, they only are, are looking at, the, I feel like this game, they're only looking at, like, what's good for the jungler. Like it's well, it's good for Elioya if you can just like go top and get a free kill and like stay split map. But this looks not good for Elioya. I don't think he doesn't so. have flash for like two seconds. <laughs> Holy shit! Man. Oh, he, I, Elioya I looks die. tilted. Yo, do you see his player cam after that one? No, dude. Honestly, though, it's mid diff again. Jojo's <laughs> super. Jojo is well, actually yeah. so good at this play. Like he covers bot lane so much because he's he just like will just sack a wave to do it. He's actually so I'm so upset. glad what JoJo fuck? is fucking doing well with this play style, man. This shit has been missing an NA for so long, like a jungler or a mid laner who actually fucking yeah, we'll, participates we'll with this. the team. I mean, I think I think like <laughs> 9 out of 10 mid laners in LCS there are just going to... He is... Yeah, you're right. He is fucking tilted. Um, 9 out of 10 mid laners like, are just going to say, well, well, can't you guys just back off? Like, I need to go back mid. You know, they don't think about... Yes, EG's bot lane can back off the turret there and give up a little bit so that you can go get that mid farm. But what about the chance that like you kill them all for this play? Because it's unexpected uh, yeah. for you to Dude, be if, if my mid laner says, can't you guys back off so I can go mid, I would call him the biggest fucking clown. Like that's actually so bad. I mean, like, just walk bottom there. Legit. But the argument is, it always comes down to, well, like they know that I'm coming, so they're not going to die here. And then, uh, you know, from the mid laner's perspective, all he's doing is sacking his lane so bot lane can get some more farm. But like, I like that nah. Jojo does like the, he just does the riskier play. Cause you know, if Elioia's flash is up there, it's, Mac, you think he loses six minions and Elioia loses flash. Is that worth? Probably not, but you never know what's gonna happen. I mean, just... I mean b b before you, Th that part I think is like almost hindsight analysis because like you you make the decision to come bot well before you know what's going to happen yeah. with Trundle's flash. I feel like that's just a analysis based on it not working most of the time. Like you keep going bot, you keep trying it, and then fucking it just goes so bad. And you're like, yeah. all right, like I'm never moving again. <laughs> oh. oh, is it the double it, suplex? It Dude, Niski oh my again. goodness. He's fucking dead. That was actually really well played by Jojo. He recognized that was about to happen, so then he just went first.
Jojo just grabbed him first and threw him. Yeah. Uh -huh. I like this set counter picking to Silas. This is actually like a really uh -oh. fucked matchup for Silas. He's dabbing. We talked about the mental advantage. Inspired hitting a fat XD in chat. Wait, uh, this is apparently this is inspired matchup. typed XD in chat. When? Like right there. Yeah. I just Dude, absolutely. I'm telling hate you, how... Smurf Q is the most cursed shit ever. Yeah. Like m my main account, I've been having so much trouble like getting through Smurf Q on it. Like I I've definitely sub 50% win rate, but it's just like demonic games. Yeah. Like like you actually just get grief for no reason. Oh wow. Unforgiven oh, good is flash by Draven. actually so fucking clean, man. And it, it oh doesn't even God. matter. They still lose this. Hisky. Hisky, man. Dude, this guy's like pissing me off. Like, can, can we not early pick Silas? This is fucking just tragedy after I'm, tragedy. I don't know, man. I, I feel like they're just tilted or something. Like, in what world? Kauri picked Sivir into Draven Alistair. Aren't you just double hard countered? Like, with Yumi? Yeah. Like, I, I almost feel like this should be a game losing matchup, Bali. Such a good flash. It's fight pretty terrible, Kevin. yeah. I, I, I don't I don't think a lot of AD carries would flash the way he did. Like that was just so good. And it yeah. doesn't fucking matter because what what's happening? Niski's just running it down. He kinda gets cucked by the GP ult though. Like he flashes, but then he's kinda out of the fight. Like he can't really hit anymore. Dude, he's flashing into fucking one HP set. I d I don't even know how he's gonna kill him with these shit items that he has. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm getting tilted watching him. I mean, this is mad in a best of series. Yeah. Not their forte. Just can't believe the D shield lucidity boots didn't pull through there. <laughs> Almost got him. Actually, zero damage right now. <laughs> Holy shit. I, I don't know how good he is on shield. control mages, but here's here's like a really obvious outside perspective. Your AD carry is playing better than theirs. Top mid, top top unknown, honestly. Like top, I, I'm not gonna throw armor under the bus, but oh. time to play off bot lane. And strangely, I would say even like change bot lane's picks, even though he's playing pretty well. I think if you're not gonna play to the Draven, don't pick Draven. Yeah. I think you should play to the Draven, but clearly something is keeping them from doing that. So. Maybe El Yoya just doesn't like his bot lane. Every time he comes bot, something fucking horrible happens. He just like dies on Dude, the dive. That might be why he like visibly show top. tilted. Yeah. Yeah. Like ah oh, fuck! I knew it was terrible going bot lane. I mean, that can kind of happen. Like you lose trust in your teammates if they're just shitting the bed all the time. Yeah. My Dude, God, that was a lot of fisting. What the right fuck? There. What the fuck? Shit. That's the set, dude. Jojo's or Niski was oom. He had no cooldowns. There's no threat. I've noticed one thing is Kaiser's one of the few supports remaining that still likes to buy Mobis. I, I, I don't feel very good about it. I think Mobis has been gutted too hard. Yeah. There's not a lot of mobies nowadays, for sure. They're okay. God, you just get really squishy, guys. but you can be in places that you weren't normally allowed to. Maybe even initiate. You're only marginally faster than Swiftness Boots, but the second anything hits you, even on accident, like yeah. PPLT, you're just completely useless. Like you just get caught so much easier. Yeah. So I... I don't a lot really faster like it. than Yumi. Yumi doesn't even have boots. True. True. Nah, just, just actually, I, I, honestly, if you're mad, do you just FF here? I kind of feel like you just FF here. Sure. Uh, I think mentally, uh, as fucked up as it is to say, it's it's kind of obvious to every pro player that this game is over. Um, maybe you just. Like you, you obviously Did you? are gonna try to make make it as frustrating as possible for the enemy team to win, but like I think like wearing them down is fine. Uh, okay, but, how about uh, this? Like I think, like let's say you could FF. There's no limitations. If Draven dies, then you, then you FF. Then you FF like, without getting yeah. a sex. Yeah. I think you don't give the other team the satisfaction of denying his sex. I think you just FF. Oh God. Holy fuck, that's sad. Oh, Draven, Draven. Oh no. Draven said. 
Arma really takes that kill? Like what? I think Impact's flash was a bit grief. Oh! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh my god! Why is no one giving Draven a fucking kill? Yeah! I'm so tilted watching this, oh! dude. Dude! Dude! dude All right. But the way he played that was so good. Put no? up the flag. Put up the fucking flag. Nah, fuck Madman. Holy shit. Why is Orn taking a kill from fucking Draven, man? Like, what is that? Yeah. Wait, you're trolling. He has to just kill him ASAP, no? The Sivir? You're not gonna stop damage on the target so Draven can cash in, in the middle of a team fight. You I kinda would. need to, actually, though. Here? Oh, I... Ironically, I think you actually have to. Uh... It, it's awkward as fuck, but... No, dude. No, no, you do not, you do not stop hitting so. there, so Draven can, no. This game is unironically over. I think Draven uh, flashes in for the last hit every time. Then kills himself for it? Like, he'll die yep. for it. Yep. No. Uh, uh, it's worth uh, uh, pop uh, for a death. Objectively, Easy. I think so. Dude, I, I, I don't think that's objective. I think that's emotional. Like, you don't, don't, so. you don't die to cash into your stacks no, in no, a team fight. No, he, wait, what? Yeah, you do. I think you definitely do. You do with those stacks. Like, if if you're on the other team, do you feel good if a Draven one for ones and gets his stacks? I don't. I'm just no. like, holy shit, this guy just got a thousand no, gold. but the, but him doing that is not just. It's not. It's not. No, just he, in a he vacuum. was a hundred percent dead. Is... He's dead regardless. So l let's think about that. Like, let's just say you are dead in a team fight. There's no way you will survive. Do you but, flash but to get the kill? Isn't a hundred percent dead in that fight. No, he, he, he was. He was. Guaranteed. He lived so long, he only died because Sejuani ulted him literally the last second. Like, I I, I don't think there's that he would die. Like, honestly, no if Sejuani just there. didn't ult that fight, there's no way he dies. No, but he <laughs> The very, fact that Inspired saw the angle died. to press it. He also had another chance, because he lived, he had another chance of, to kill Kaori, which obviously he didn't. But if he wasn't alive there, then Kaori just cleans up that. Well, yeah, but Kaori's the kill we were talking about. Like, oh. the, the Orn took the kill on Kaori. You, you guys are no no or or the, the replay that the replay the replay was showing the set kill they didn't even show the carry kill yeah you guys are talking about him flashing in for the the kill on screen and it was like the set kill oh, okay i mean that no i i think the, the the set one was i think that was okay i think he still could have flashed in for that one but the the second one that i think silas got was yeah omega grief that that was the main one and the rest of them are just yeah, I don't know. I, I think in the heat of the moment, like you, you're not thinking or or should even pay attention to that. Like, you should just kill Sivir before she can, like, the knockup phase, and then she just turns around, one shots everyone with bounces. Like everyone was legit one HP, by the way. I think it was yeah. too scary of a situation to secure the bag for the homie. I mean, these guys are legit don't don't know how to play with Draven, and they're playing with Draven, which is weird. I mean, it all just comes down to fucking... When I play with Draven, dude, I just cup this champ's balls and hope he 1v9s. Yes. And usually <laughs> the good Dravens can, and it's like an awesome time to be on his team. You're just like giving him everything, and he's just <laughs> six items in 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay. Let's pick some wave clear, guys. Silas, Draven, two games in a row. The game is e like 80% of the time that you play in the game, you're PVEing. Yeah. Get him, Jojo! Holy fucking 800 Ow. damage on Trundle. 761 into the face. Pause champ, Kauri? Oh, no. Jojo is oh. pretty nice on set. Oh. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I actually think set's like one of the coolest champs that they've come out with recently. And the fact that like he's simple, but he has a lot of like crazy moments. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. He's pretty cool. His alt being the, the main reason for that, right? I mean, it's W. Like, I feel like all of his abilities and shit like can be used in different ways. Like... It, he doesn't seem hard, but then when you play him, it's like it's actually hard to do the fucking pop off set fights. Mm -hmm. I, I'm actually I'm I'm happy Mads losing with the way they're playing. This is not world level play. Yeah. True. 
I think like um, one really interesting thing about team like synergy and like team building is you need to have a win condition. I I still because I'm didn't watch much LEC. I don't know. No, nah, but like from a from a gameplay plan, if I'm Trundle with this draft, why am I level two ganking a GP top? Like, yes, GP plays their early game aggressive. Yes, he could be vulnerable to that play. But even if it works, like, you're not winning this game off fucking camping GP for Orn. Hell no. You are getting your ass into that bottom lane. Like a good little troll. You're getting that Draven fed. Mad sucks balls. What can I say? Yep. Actually, one of the most toxic and unproductive things you can say, which is, do I really win the game if... Th that's actually relevant here. Do we really win the game if we fucking split map topside for four minutes and let Sedge take all our bot camps and can't play the game bot lane for fucking... Then you, then you like, hastily make your way bot lane to kill yourself to set roam? <laughs> it's, like, so unplayable. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I think a lot of drafts, I'm, like, empathetic of junglers, like, you know, having choice and making whatever play presents itself, but, like... In this one, it's just so fucking clear how the matchups are going to go. Like, Eight you kills. literally double counter pick Sivir, and it's a Yumi. I don't know. 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 I, I just don't know. I know. I know that Matt is tilted as fuck. That was just well, a hello, base clan. Yo. Oh. Who's that? Dennis J. Dennis? Hey, Yo. Guys, oh. talk to any of you guys. <laughs> How's it going, guys? He's back from the dead. Good, good, good. How's the gym? I just saw your message that you're at the gym. I was wondering where you were. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you were fucking donut walling me, so I just <laughs> I'm out, sorry. To the gym. It's all good. I actually woke Yo up. Donut walled. Literally donut walled. <laughs> I'm just ego like that. Yeah, I know. We all know. <laughs> <laughs> were you uh, were you watching the game at the gym? I saw I saw the first game. I missed the second game. But you I missed a banger. Spit on him or what? Yeah, Mad it was shit the... on themselves. I would say yes. They they just they keep early picking Draven and weak siding him. What do you think about that? Good strat. But actually, like pretty good. <laughs> I saw that Draven was a hundred percent banned against them in uh, play-ins. Wait, oh, really? Wait, really? Yeah. Damn, people are scared. I, I, I actually didn't know that. Maybe that's why they're early picking it. They're like, lol, they're leaving it up. He, he is cracked at Draven. Um, just... It's a team gap. Well, what have you been up to, Dennis? Are you still playing CQ? Oh, yeah, I just begun. I was waiting for them to move the servers to Chicago. I played on the 70 ping, and I just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> What? It's, it's not that it's bad. Nice well, I mean, next I mean, is New York, isn't nice. it? Yeah, it's it's already moved now. Oh, no, really? it's Chicago. It's Chicago, yeah. Oh. Because there's no New York servers, I think. Yeah, yeah, they moved servers. Are you still in LA, Dennis? <laughs> yep. Got my green card recently, like a couple of months ago. Nice. Ooh. How does it wow. feel to be American? It feels fucking amazing. You have no idea. It feels so free. <laughs> is it liberating? Yes. That's I awesome. just have so much freedom now. How many guns do you own now? I mean, I live in LA. I don't think it's like, uh, it's not that common to own guns in LA, is it? Wait, you're trolling. Everyone does. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> My bad. We can make yeah. a Walmart run after this with everyone if we want to go grab some guns. Yeah, I'm down. Cool, My collection's lacking a little bit. But what is your favorite gun? Oh, I mean, I have to pick only one? I mean, which one do you have in your cabinet right now? Oh, you know, um... <clears throat> uh, M4, the usual. Uh, M4, AK, uh... Well, let's see what else. The FAMAS. I got, I got a fucking op. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if, if you don't own a sniper rifle for self-defense, like, do you even care about your fucking household? Yeah, imagine the robber's, like, fucking couple blocks down, and you need to take him out. <laughs> yeah, what if I? <laughs> yeah, I want a few phantoms and vandals as well. Ooh. 
I might need to get on that so I can feel more safe. <laughs> so you can feel more uh-huh. American. Yo, so Wait, do you guys think it's going to be a quick for you? Or? Yeah. I like, think Mag can bring it back one game, at least. Nah, they're still yeah. fucked, man. I think, when you, I think when you get fisted harder the second game than the first, it's looking pretty doomed. I mean, yeah. If it's like, you lose two games, but it was like shaky both times, all good. Or like, you lose the first game, stomp the second game, you're looking kind of like signs of life. This was like, first game, kind of almost a game, and the second game was just a solo Q pub stomp. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I've seen a lot it. of games that look super fucked from the first two games, but then it actually ends up being like a reverse sweep or a 3-2, but... Yeah. I don't know. This one do- doesn't strike me as that. Like The way they're playing just feels too fucking like tilted. There's no way you don't flash that, Niski. I'm sorry, bro, but like... Such Q flash. I'm sorry, Lil, bro. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Lil, Loka. Bro. I mean, it could kind just be they change up the draft. No Stylus, no Draven, and they're yeah. gonna look way different. Legit. JoJo's kind of playing fucking demon mode this whole plans. Sicko mode. Going Giga. Callista, that's a switch. Dude, this guy doesn't want to scale. He just refuses. Mm-hmm. Pick Renata then. If you're gonna play Callista, you need Renata to scale. What about Moby Boot Alistair, though? I'm gonna fucking flip if I see Kaiser go fucking Moby Boots again on, like, Braum or Alley. <laughs> Ooh, that's not, even that, that's not even that good of a matchup for Aphelios, actually. It's not that good. Oh, they took Braum, I think. They, Braum Sedge? Goddamn, they really want to win. No, but they get they, they get farmed by Callista Renata. Braum's so bad in lane against range support. Like, you, you don't blind Braum because you're afraid of shit like that. I mean, Renata ulti can get blocked. So that's, like, one good interaction for you, but... Whenever I see drafts like this, if, like... If they don't get some kind of level 1 punish with, like, Graves to Sedge, then... I don't know, man. I did miss your gaming, Morgana. So top lane that has to play a tank here, right? Like, Amut. Is Nar open? Nope, Nar's gone. Yeah, it's over. And he done. just banned his best champs here, so... <laughs> Gwen. Hmm. The zero frontline comp. We'll see how this one goes. This looks like a EG win. They have LeBlanc Lee Sin versus Victor. Graves. Yeah. I don't know, I mean, this is a pretty big mix-up for Mad. Maybe they play a lot better like this, regardless if it's good cop or not. What's Armit saying right now? Dude, this guy, this guy started Q. He's trolling so hard. We, we can we can dive top here. <laughs> <laughs> I think Sedrani's usually side Q. <laughs> top, dude, no top flash, top no so flash, volatile. Top dude. is so volatile. Does Gromp really win us the game here? <laughs> Why are you what farming Gromp, this? dude? <laughs> the fucking PTSD here. Okay, <laughs> 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 Armut is dead, right? Yeah, he's yep. fucked. He's Wait. Giga fucked. He's got ghosts. Yeah, he's... Wait. Wait, wait, wait why didn't he dodge that? What? Ooh, that's Does he not death. have W up? For, for the uh, immune on the stun? I guess it doesn't matter. He's dead anyways, huh? I think he might actually get out if he had it, but he must have traded with it. Yeah. Or he went two points Q, perhaps? Oh, yeah. I've seen that before. I don't know if it's good, but I have seen it. Right there, you just say, oh, their jungler's so good. Yes, if you want to get out of worlds fast. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go back home. <clears throat> no, nice actually, uh, or dodge by inspired. I guess yeah. Arma didn't use W, he just doesn't have it. He either doesn't have it or he didn't press the button here. Hey, he, if he had it, he could have dodged the stun. That's a great on, right? point, Medios. Sure yeah, he, he, yeah, he, I think he gets out there. 
Well, potentially. I think Lee Sen could have W and like flash you for it. If he was feeling it. Do you then blame your bot lane or do you jungler if you're top lane here? Jungler? What? Bot lane, would... bot lane is calling for him to pad bottom, you know? Oh, it doesn't, doesn't uh, matter. That's true. Uh, you have to understand, he, it, even, even if another lane calls if, for the if, jungler and they listen, that's not the laner's fault. The jungler could have said no. <laughs> Wait, oh Jojo's god, Niski? Wait. I mean, Jojo. Yeah, Jojo's what the fuck? Dude, Oops. why did we have bot if Callista's just gonna be down CS anyways? <laughs> exactly. Is it really worth it? So that's like a double blame. Double if gonna figure it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, actually, Armin's getting his fucking head taken off by these Ws. God, EU's just so bad this year. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. 16. I knew NA was better than EU. This whole time, it was so obvious. Oh, Inspire's actually not super... Oh. In jail, are you? Holy oh. shit, that was actually clean. Wow. Dude, Armin's that was a spin scare and Lee Sin play right there. That, yeah, maybe that a couple was... of years ago. <laughs> Before the incident. <laughs> this game is over, right? Oh, are you getting ads gap. when you're oh, top gap. Oh. Holy shit. Oh. Oh god. It, it was like weird because my brain didn't process for a second that that was top sedge and not jungle. <laughs> so. <laughs> you were about to say jungle gap, but I'm not. Yeah. I mean, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. They actually fed top and impact used it to help his teammates. It's a specialty. And he, what does he even lose for this? Like fucking four creeps? Move into the mid lane and then move on towards the top side after oh, Not even if it was a cannon. Oh, dude. Dennis Leeson would have solo killed Graves there. On God. Uh, I don't think he can. I mean, yes. Yes. Sanskar and Leeson Pentas. This Herald fight. Sanskar and Leeson gives actual chills repeatedly. <laughs> Goosebumps. <laughs> I, I actually get. Get goosebumps on cooldown against Dennis Lee Sen. Oh, yo, um, guys, what's going on, Bot Wayne? Oh, dude, he's lethal tempo stacked. It's just he's lethal wrong. tempo stacked. Just bro oh. things. He's just so many he chakrams, man. Uh oh. Wait, this is actually pretty awkward. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, Curry's dead. No, Curry's dead. Curry's dead. Curry's dead. How is he not dead? What? He's alive. Push How? the button. How many spaces is that? Oh. Wow, I guess tier two boots to no boots. Ooh. Yeah, tier Wait. two boots. Jojo died. How oh, Jojo died? Solos, solos, solo kill. And yeah, he gets solo killed by Niski and El Yoyo. Double assist, <laughs> solo kill. <laughs> Dude, what how, what does El Yoyo's farm this game? Is he like farming lane a lot, or is that just like Graves? I, I didn't just think Graves so was good, good. At, that good at farming. Yeah, I mean, I always thought Graves was like a, a, a fasting jungler. I don't know. Full clan to full clan to full clan, no? Yeah, it's a Krugs game. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All in. Okay, let's see the solo kill. Dude, this he played this so well. To kill him like that? Solo? How did he get him? Watch this. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Nissi's actually playing this well. Wait, they're showing the EG coaches this. That's Nine going on. What the hell? Taken. Does Chobi play Champions Q? I don't know. I haven't seen him. Yeah, I haven't seen. He's scared of RJS. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh shit. Mr. Yoya no. down. Oh, Unforgiven's dodging is so clean, Wait, dude. Wait, did Vulcan just not block the fucking... Oh! oh. oh. Wait, oh my god! Oh. 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 
Damn, that blue purple gun sure did a lot there, Sneaky. <clears throat> it sure as fuck did. <laughs> wow, that really did a ton for that fight. Totally won it for him. <clears throat> yep. The Sneaky Sets battle up. No, nah, fucking. No, nah, it's, it's been a fucking <laughs> meme. Because oh, we were watching some game where, like, Aphelios kept ending up with, like, blue purple guns at the worst times and just being giga useless for the fights. So I, I was saying, like, yo, I feel like he could do a better job of, like, gun management. And then Sneaky's just like, no, fuck you, it's impossible. <laughs> and so then I just started meme every time we see an Aphelios <laughs> with that, blue that purple really guns. Like something say, man. Missing yeah. is really aggressive like that. I'm missing oh. quite a lot of context. Holy fucking I mean, I'm not going to give the whole fucking... That was actually a fucking Giga Chad move by Kauri. Yeah, dude, for sure, Mad didn't even look... Didn't even see... Aphelios there. They were so <laughs> tunneled right on the low them, HP, guys. Uh... Yes! Let's go, Artemis. <laughs> Let's go, Artemis. Let's fucking go, Artemis. Ooh! Look at that damage. Dude, they're pogging so hard. I'm getting hyped myself. Gita, so you think that Matt can outscale this game? Yeah, I think for sure they outscale. It's Gwen or yeah, Renata? I, I think it's everything. Like Graves too. Gwen, Gwen scales like crazy. I, I think like for EG's perspective, uh, like my my way of like thinking about scaling is like how many damage dealers a, a comp has, and I think Mad has basically like four pretty good damage dealers, and then EG just has two, and like one of them is LeBlanc, so it's kind of not consistent. And uh -huh. I, I think like Aphelios is fine. Like if you have like Aphelios is zero, it's fine, but. It's not Azir or Victor, it's it's LeBlanc as like the other backline guy and Aphelios doesn't do any damage to Gwen. I, I every time I play against Gwen I just I just get ran down. There's no counterplay. So you don't like the top tank with the support tank? Yeah. That's too much. <laughs> too many tanks, not enough damage dealers. Too tanky. I'd be pretty comfortable if I was mad this game. Like the enemy team's on one drag, they're not really pressuring soul and I guess the one thing you have to look out for is like if the enemy team gets Baron control, they can just kill it real fast. But yeah, I mean, I want to see how Mad plays it. Cause it. To me, I would think it's hard to play for Mad's POV. Oh my god, Elif. Yeah. Elif, your Graves thank you. not look very clean. I, I kind of don't understand the Swifties. Like, uh, is it better than Merc Dreads or... Uh... Pretty much had, any I boost. think he just had enough money for it. He did like I, six on the gold base. Well. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Seems okay. There's so many good junglers in every region now, I feel like. Dude, they're just all so smart and European. No, I mean like... Even Especially yeah. European. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Dude, Dennis, have you heard Double Up talk about EU junglers? Yeah, I know. I'm like, he just creams his pants. I'm, I'm, I'm actually jizzing over him now. <laughs> He's just stroking them so hard. Oh, <laughs> you good, junglers, man. man. They're just so smart. They're so smart. Like, <laughs> like, they gank a mid laner, he has no flash, and then, yo, he hear me out, hear me out. They gank him again. Oh, oh my god, no one's done it before! Oh! Okay. So name the next best NA. Actually, that's pretty easy. I was gonna say name the next best NA jungler that's not Blabber, and I guess it's Blabber. Yeah. <laughs> like Blabber. literally, literally two, two out of three of our world teams. It could have been three out of three of fucking European junglers. It could have been Santorin, Closer, and uh, and. Inspired, Are we really calling Santorin a European jungler though? Uh, okay, that's uh, fair. Maybe he not. is just European, so yes. Dude, Inspired's, old, Inspired's kickback got interrupted by Vulcan's knockup. That's fucking sad anti-synergy. Yeah, anti-synergy. That's why you don't pick Gleason with Brown. <laughs> True. Yeah, this is, dude. always happens. This always happens. <laughs> so Mad is just going to keep side laning, never fight. Yep, and it's really up to EG to stop him from farming. Pretty hard to do. One thing I really dislike about playing against Victor is like he's so good at stalling the game. True. Pretty hard to siege against him. 
Wait, this is really actually like, the fucking Spin Scare and Jungle matchup. Lee Sin versus Graves. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a classic. What about Zin Zhao? Wait, <laughs> I'm gonna look up your lifetime stats, Dennis. Holy. Ow. Your Lee lifetime win rates. What'd you say? Lee Sin's what? Most played. Oh. Yeah, for sure. And Dennis probably yep. likes to draw on or something. Nope, actually. Across your whole career. It's it's Lee Sin, then Gragas, then Rek'Sai, then Graves, then Elise, then Sedge. Holy. I you thought you were a Sedge player? You have a good win rate? A positive win rate on everything, and your lowest is Jarvan and Zin Zhao. <laughs> it's the same for me, though. Like, my Jarvan win rate was also Cheeks. This champ's a bait, man. It's, it, every jungler just gets pressured to play this by their mid and AD carries. Being like, Jarvis so broke, man. Kind of this line I can't play. Oh, you're Trunnel winner. It's also 36. <laughs> Dennis. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Did I ever pressure Holy to play shit. Jarvis, Dennis? That's crazy. So really, like, every champ that doesn't have a get-out-of-jail-free card like Lee Sin does, and it's, just, it's like, not looking good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Jarvin has no get-out-of-jail-free card. Oh, oh but he doesn't if you EQ in. Yeah, then True. you're Insane, like Lee Sin as well. If you flash W in, like you, you actually can't do anything. Oh, what the yeah. fuck? Did he just walk oh into the turret? God. I'm he looking at it again. Into the turret. Yeah, he just walked into it. Bro, he's that's, that's what people would do when Athena's first got out. Yeah, I know, dude. That's like the I'm a cutie pie clip. <laughs> wow, is that really how the game ends? Kaiser Wait. walks into an Aphelios turret, they get ace, they lose Baron, the game's over. What that's the just fuck? Sad. That's yeah, I guess sad. you don't need a tank, man. I guess, I guess you just have your squishies have to tank the turret. I'm not. That was not even not a face check. See how that works. Yeah, it's, <laughs> man. If only we had a frontliner who could tank the Aphelios turret. Dying literally two autos. <laughs> yeah, but do you see how much damage they got? <laughs> I think it's a little peculiar that <laughs> Aphelios managed to win a fight without the uh, the blue purple gun. Shut yo bitch ass uh, pussy. All right, watch the turret. <laughs> Dude, what's over really, What's just that thing? Oh god! <laughs> wow. <laughs> but it's like so OP, no? In his defense, <laughs> I didn't think that would happen either. That was kind of I mean, whack. When do you walk into a turret? I mean, that thing's usually a turret that just falls over and does nothing. No, I've never not. seen it just fuck no, someone's it, bomb like it's that. It's only a turret if it's not hitting. If it's actually attacking and doesn't die, then it owns you. Really hard. Mm. It has garbage range. Aphelios' turret is actually stronger than the actual champ. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Bro, Why don't they all just start making out and having an orgy in the coach room? Oh god, it's a pause. <laughs> Remake! I didn't know turret could do that. Remake, fast. <laughs> that was a bug. Dude, I totally had no idea I could die like that. Uh, that's that's a bug. Oh, they actually paused for health-related reasons. Yeah. Matt is choking to death. <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, God, EG's dick stuck in their throat on that last play. Holy! <laughs> Jesus! Oh, we're back. Oh. Dink dong, timer. Fix timer, streamer. Oh shit, my timer is so cursed. Oh cursed. fuck. Yeah, Impact did gap arm at this series, actually. I feel like everyone got gapped. No, like, nobody on Mad seemed like they were playing decently. Maybe, un I think Unforgiven had moments where he looked decent, but like... What can you do? Uh, what? Must be so sad for Matt too. They're like auto qualified for Worlds, and this is what they get. The <laughs> Dickens. <laughs> they missed the playoffs practice. They're like actually qualifying for Worlds. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty weird having fourth seeds, but I don't know. I mean, I guess. LPL and LCK also have it. Ooh, he kicked his ass. Oh. I still, I still can't believe the way the game ended was fucking Kaiser's outplayed by turret situation. 
Yeah. That's gotta feel like shit. If that's like the last important part of the game that you remember. Yeah. Jesus. But I mean, it was. I, don't, I mean, you saying they could outscale, but to me, it just looks like they can't, just because of the team comp. I don't see how you ever fight with no frontline. I really think the other team has to just suck dick to lose. Well, I don't know. I feel like Sedge is not even particularly tankier than Gwen at a certain point. Hot take. <laughs> I mean, Gwen does literally just is immune, and Sedge is taking damage from three damage immune. dealers at once. But, uh, yeah. They didn't, they didn't even get to the point where I think everyone was at two items. They just, I think they lost when everyone was working on their second item. Man, this is devastating, holy shit. As a European, I feel sad right now. <laughs> Whoa, you're an American citizen now. I thought you had a green card. I'm actually telling the embassy. Right now. I'm telling you're the really embassy right you're, you're getting sent home. I'm sorry. No, but this, is, this is so sad for Mad. Mm. Yeah, I feel really bad for them. PG, you know? Yeah. Is it their fault they sucked balls and lost? They got unlucky. <laughs> they had a bad group draw. They do NA, right? So. <laughs> they were just bound to lose. They legit just got 3 0'd by fucking EG, goddamn. The balls to go and bow. Yeah. What would Dennis do there? Run off stage? I'll be crying right now already. Drop your water bottle on your keyboard. <laughs> Complaining about my bottle ain't nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a Dennis thing. <laughs> Wait, no way, Dennis. Say that what? Right the game. You're that's, toxic. What the fuck, Diggy? That's actually what a Dennis the... move. No, but you, you, you do it like sarcastically. Like you're oh, not, you're bro. not totally serious about it, but you'll say it. <laughs> I, I, I mean, but that's like normal, no? Like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, opinions on like why you think you lost or like. I yeah. feel like that's normal. It is, it is. <laughs> you try to paint me as like a fucking piece of shit right now, <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Holy fuck. American Eagle. Yeah, blaming the team. That's such a Dennis move. <laughs> I really sounds like me. I fixed it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I, I don't think many EG. people expected EG to actually win. I kind of thought Matt would win, even what? though they're yeah, choke artists. I mean, I didn't think it was like going to be super one-sided, but interesting. This is know, the first me, time NA has Matt, Matt didn't look good in any games. Even the games that they won, they did. They didn't look good. It was like, oh my god, Elioia Belveth one v five, but he like, it was like painful to see them close out the game. Vulcan this tweet? is true. What did Vulcan say? Suck my dick, EU. Post a fucking video of him drinking some shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Just sip some fucking wine or something. What is that? It's the, it's the meme of uh, Cristiano Ronaldo <clears throat> drinking the out of the glass. Did he also say suck my dick at you or <laughs> No, I don't know. It's like <laughs> recreation. Did he try to wink at the end? Yeah, it's a Ronaldo meme, bro. I can't believe you guys haven't seen that. I have not. Part. He says suck my dick at you? Isn't no, he? No, no, he Europe? doesn't okay, that part is unrelated, <laughs> but the video is from Oh. Ronaldo. I see.